guys, it's Blair Techie here. I'm back with an all new video. So today I'm gonna to take you through a special walkthrough. I'm gonna show you guys all the Pokemon plushes that I've been collecting. I've been collecting Pokemon plushes since about 2014. Now some of these are gonna be my wife's, not just mine, but the majority of them are mine. Um, I'd say I'm a pretty good Pokemon collector. I mean, I've been collecting for a long time now. I have a good amount of Pokemon plushes. Um, usually we don't really have a set date for when we buy these things. We'll just go out to like Walmart, Target, and we'll say, hey, you know, we like this one, or hey, this one catches my attention, and then that's when we go out and buy it. Um, so I know some of you guys out there probably have like three, maybe four times the amount of Pokemon plushes that I have, but I'd say I have a pretty good amount. So anyway, let's get straight to it. I'm gonna show you guys what I have, and I hope you guys like it. All right, so the first one that I wanted to show off is Gengar. Now we got this one not too long ago. We got it at Walmart, and uh, truth be told, this one actually isn't mine, but it's my favorite. This is my wife's and she doesn't really show it off. She keeps it in the back of her car all the time. So most of our plushes, if you were ever to you know, do a tour of our apartment or anything like that, you'd see that they're all spread out. This one you don't even get to see because it's in the back of her car all the time. But yeah, Gengar, one of my favorite types. Everybody loves Gengar, Ghost Pokemon. And you know, with the new Sword and Shield coming out, being able to see him in gigantic form, that's gonna be something I'm really looking forward to. So next up we have Charizard. Charizard's my favorite Pokemon. Uh, I've had this one for quite a while now. I think I actually got it off of Amazon. Um, honestly, when you when you order Pokemon plushes off of Amazon, you kind of have to be careful because sometimes you'll get like a really low quality. But I think with this Charizard, I mean the quality is not too bad. You have everything there other than his face. His face looks kind of weird, but the wings and the size is what I was looking for. And this is a pretty good Charizard plush overall. All right, so up next we have the Evolutions, which are pretty much everybody's favorites. Um, we don't have all of them, but we have the majority of them. I'd honestly like to get an Umbreon and an Espeon because I think those two are my favorite. And we got these, uh, it's been a collection of Walmart and the Pokemon Center in New York. If anybody's uh, ever been able to go to the Pokemon Center in New York, that's like one of the coolest experiences, honestly, because they have not only a bunch of Pokemon toys, but if you're a Nintendo fan like me, you have a whole bunch of Nintendo toys in general. This Pikachu over here was one of my first ones that I ever got, and you know, it's Pikachu. Pikachu is pretty much the representation of Pokemon. It's the symbol of Pokemon. For anybody that doesn't know Pokemon, they probably know what Pikachu is. So um, this is one of the first ones that I got. He's kind of beat up, as you can see, he's a little dirtier. And then this is one of the uh, Christmas collections actually sold by the Pokemon Center. Um, got this a uh, few Christmas back. Another one of my favorite ones right here. I love this Venusaur. I mean, you can see how bulky it is. You can see the flower detail at the top. It's honestly was just one of the best ones that I have right here. Of course, you've got to have the original three starters. So we got Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander here. And we actually got these at GameStop. Um, I'd say probably about two or three years ago. But yeah, these are really nice. I had them inside my car for a while just because everybody knows the three starters. But now I brought them back inside the apartment. So these I picked up actually in downtown Savannah. And what's kind of unique about these is that they have a strap on the back as you can see right there, just for these three small ones right here. Uh, so you got Chikorita, Oddish, and Jigglypuff. And you have Psyduck. Psyduck was the only one that actually looked like a full uh, size plush, but he's actually got a little rip underneath his arm. But nonetheless, I still really like these. You know, I, I only got them for like about a dollar at a dollar store in Savannah, so they were really nice deals. We have another big Pokemon. So this is a big Mew. We actually got this in Chinatown in New York and it was really overpriced. I want to say this one was like 30 or $40. Um, I don't even think it's an authentic Pokemon plush, but it was pretty cool. I mean, we went crazy when we went to Chinatown, New York. They just had so many different Pokemons and like just so many different anime figures that we just went crazy on spending. Oh, more baby Pokemon. Uh, here we have Elekid and uh, Magby. And everybody loves baby Pokemon, especially if you're a first generation fan like I am. You know, everybody loves seeing Electabuzz and Magmar uh, back in first generation. They were some of the strongest Pokemon. And nothing too special about these. We just got these at Walmart and uh, they're actually one of our most recent additions. So we got some legendaries here and these were from the Pokemon Center. You can see the Pokemon Center tag on there. So we have Marshado and Jirachi. Rowlet and Litwick. Two more that we picked up from the Pokemon Center. This one right here is actually my wife's, Mimikyu, and Ditto. And Ditto is kind of a pain in the butt because we don't really have a good place for it since it's kind of hard to stand upright, as you can see. 
and it doesn't really have a place that it uh, fits in well in the apartment. We have Lit in here. This is my wife's uh, favorite Pokemon actually. And we have a very small Dragonite. Uh, this Dragonite was actually one of my first ones that I ordered and it goes back to what I said about Amazon. So I ordered this and I looked at pictures of it. It looked really big. So I was thinking I was gonna get a full size Pokemon plush. And when this came in the mail, I was honestly not expecting it, but I decided to keep it because, you know, it's pretty cute. It's, it's like a chibi Dragonite. So up next we have Abra. Um, so one of my favorite Pokemon is Alakazam. I've been trying to get a hold of one for the longest, but it's really hard to find an Alakazam plush unless I order one on Amazon. So I did find this Abra in Walmart and I decided to pick it up just because of the fact that I'm such a huge Alakazam fan. All right, so we have Charizard X. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite Pokemons as well that we have. We picked this one up in the uh, Pokemon Center and I would have honestly liked to have a bigger one just because it's about the same size as the Charizard plush that I have. But nonetheless, I mean, the details on this is really nice and it was actually one of the more expensive ones. So I value this one as much as uh, the other Charizard one that I have. This is the last small plush that we have. This is a Growlithe. Um, there's nothing too special about it. We got this one at Walmart. All right, so this is uh, one of the last three that we have. Um, the last three that I'm gonna show you guys are actually pretty cool. Not that they're my favorite Pokemon or anything like that, but I just like the detailing on it. I like the size of it. Um, they're a lot bigger than some of the ones that I've shown. So we have a little Raichu on here. Um, I really like a little Raichu, especially since he's surfing on his tail. I think that's one of the coolest parts of this. And I did pick this one up at Target, um, and it's one of my more recent additions, but you can see the detailing on here. It's really nice looking at Lolan Raichu. So we got Incineroar here. Um, this is my wife's as well. Um, and it was one of the pricier ones that we bought. Um, you can see, I mean, just from how big it is that it's pretty exclusive compared to the other ones. It's very well detailed. Kind of hard to stand up. Um, we have this one actually, we have to lean it on a TV just to be able to show it off. Because otherwise, I mean, I would like to make it sit, but you can't really sit it. But yeah, you can see like, you know, how big the Incineroar is. It's one of the cooler ones. So our final one is Alolan Executor. Um, not that this is uh, one of the, you know, one of my favorites or anything like that, but I think it's very unique. So the neck, it's um, able to move like this, you know, from side to side. So if you were to get this plush and uh, you were to put it anywhere, I mean, you can put its neck however, you know, whatever direction you want it to face. So I think that's pretty cool. You can put it facing forward, facing backward. And we did pick this one up in uh, New York, along with uh, most of the other ones in the Pokemon Center. So it's pretty cool. So that concludes my uh, plush collection. Hope you guys liked it. Um, like I said, I don't really have a whole lot compared to most collectors out there, but I think I had a good amount um, with these plushes, there's always a story to tell, you know, about all of them. So that's one of the coolest parts about collection, you know. Every time somebody comes over and sees them, they'll ask questions such as, hey, you know, where'd you get that one? Or how'd you get that one? Or is there, a, you know, a reasoning or a symbol behind it? So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, continue to watch my videos. I'm new in the video making. If you guys are enjoying this content, um, I'm going to be bringing more than just Pokemon. So. Uh, you know, just to stay updated, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and there's going to be a lot more content coming out these couple weeks, guys. Thanks.